I don't have a San Antonio story. I'm not from San Antonio. I was born and raised in the city of Philadelphia. And for the Cowboy fans, don't hold that against me. We, we won't get into the whole Philadelphia Eagle Cowboy war. Um, but I did go to an Augustinian college or high school from 7 through 12. And I went to an Augustinian college uh, in the Northeast in Boston. So Catholic education has always been in my life. It's something I know. Um, I'm around for questions later, and I will let you know that the reason that my parents pointed me towards Catholic education in seventh grade was because I might have had a small discipline problem that the priests took care of, but I did fully embrace the environment. And, and why am I here today? Um, it's hard to ask. It's hard to ask to support, especially in in the times we're facing today, it's extremely difficult. I mean, the challenges that we're all facing, uh, worrying about staying safe, yet still being that sunshine to our children and letting them know that during these times, everything's gonna be okay. And the annual fun is hard. But when I look back to my school in the city of Philadelphia, a school by the name of Malvern Prep, I'll, I'll give you a little story. Uh, it had been around since about 1940. It was a suburb of Philadelphia. Um, and about 1970, um, they were supported by Villanova University, small Catholic college up in the Philadelphia area. Um, and Villanova decided that they could no longer support Malvern Prep and that it was time for Malvern Prep to stand up on their own two feet. And there was no way Malvern was going to be able to survive. And there was a priest by the name of Father Duffy, David Duffy. He was the headmaster of the school when I was there. And um, he decided that he was the only vote telling all the priests that we need to make this school work. What are we going to do? We need to survive. That This school provides something for young men, not excluding young women, it was an all boys school. So he was very vocal that this needs to support, their, there's a lot of good things this school has done. So Dr. Duffy, or Dr. Duffy, he was a doctor in his own mind, Father Duffy um, decided to come out with something called BASH randomly came up with something called BASH, building a scholastic heritage. Building a scholastic heritage was a fundraiser that he started in 1974. And the first year, the story goes, because I was around, but I was not old enough to know what was happening. The story is that it raised about $40,000 and that $40,000 actually kept the lights on and paid for some people. Last year, Bash celebrated again, as it always has. It was the third time it was held off campus, and it raised a little north of a quarter of a million dollars. And it was all because Father Duffy was committed to Malvern Prep. Now, we can have aspirations that St. Anthony's could get there, and we can start small. The point for me standing here is Bash was critical to me graduating from Malvern Prep. I was not as blessed financially growing up. I'll be honest, I had no clue because my parents made my sister and I believe we were the wealthiest people in the world. We had no earthly idea until we were older. But Malvern Prep through Bash afforded me the opportunity to stay there. They afforded me the opportunity to graduate. They afforded me the opportunity to get a scholarship to go to school in Boston. They afforded me the opportunity to now work where I have been for 16 years and give back not only to my high school, I give back not only to my Catholic high school, I give back not only to my college, Catholic college, but in this annual fund, I'll do the same thing. And I think what we need to realize and what makes it the hardest thing in the world is we're not giving today. And that's hard, right? Because we're here for our children today, our young, you know, our daughters and our sons. But think of BASH, and maybe St. Anthony's can create a BASH. It's building a scholastic heritage. It's for our kids' kids. It's for all those other young boys, those young girls, that if we have something, we can support them, and we can give them an opportunity to become the next judge. I'm not a judge. I'm not that smart, right? We can become the next doctor. We can become the next CPA, the next actuarial. We can become the next principal. But St. Anthony's can do that. And it doesn't have to be a big dollar amount. If, you know, it can be a small monthly sum. And that small monthly sum multiplied by all the parents and all the grandparents and all the aunts and the uncles and the nieces, that adds up. So I'll leave you with this. And I'm available for questions too. 
questions on my discipline problem. But um, I, I, when you when you walk, I know you know I have one. Um, when you walk out of here, think of how we can create Bash. What is St. Anthony's Bash? And I don't want to copy Malvern Prep in the city of Philadelphia, but what's our Bash? How do we build our scholastic heritage? So 15, 20 years, we can come in here and see what this school has become.